stop, we're going to test if these work. So here we have the plug socket, which is used on whatever vehicle you're going to, you would have used this on. So here we have the standard plug for the PNVs. So we're basically just going to use some cutters and basically just cut the wire as it goes. Basically just give a snap the wire and let's see if I, if I could... Yeah, there you can see the seven wires that are inside surrounded by metal covering or basically removed some insulation see if the focus could work with me yeah there you can see or can you a metal basically windings or metal covering that is protecting the wires from snapping and it goes pretty much with the wire as it bends. The insulation is quite thick, old rubberized material. This is either aluminium or steel and on the inside you have seven copper wires that is each surrounded by I think white plastic insulation themselves. So now four of these are negative and three positive and well let's move to the next bit. Next you'll need to remove the steel webbing or netting or basically the covers so you can get to the smaller diameter wires below so you can work on those. As said there's four negative and three positive wires. Next up we're going to separate them from each other. And here we have the wires separated. Next up we're going to strip them. As we have the wires stripped we're next going to figure out which is the negative ones and which are the positive ones. For this we'll need a multimeter and we'll set it to continuity testing mode to see which wires are connected to one another on the transformers end. Then simply connect the ones that have continuity with one another and you can test that if you got it right with a battery. And once that's done, get a switch and then we move on to soldering. So this is how the box looks on the inside. Just basically soldered on the positive contacts and covered up the negative contacts. And solder them into the teens negative. Some form of a preventive measure to these be pulled out, uh, zip tie, and then filed the exit location so, so that it sits flush in the box. Then we have the box all closed up, so everything is in working order now. If it's wired to Dean, so it can be run on any 11.1 volt LiPo battery. The switch box is a bit large, but it was the only one I had on a shelf for the moment. Next, we'll move on to some 3D printing to mount the glasses on a helmet. So here we have the PNV 57Es mounted on a Mitch helmet and a Rhino arm to a NVG mount that is bolted onto the helmet. Here we have the transformer on the back, wires running through, and the battery which runs 
the system is stored in this weight pouch underneath the transformer. The whole system is run on a 11.1 volt LiPo battery r 2 ds The battery is plugged in into this wire which runs here uh, on switch. Pretty basic. The box is a bit of bit too big. I'm probably gonna change it to a smaller one in, in the future. This is the one I had one I had laying around. Then the power as the switch turns it on runs from here to the transformer and turns it on. And thus the glasses turn on. This on over here balances the night vision quite nicely. And the mount for the rhino arm is 3D printed. It's white at the moment, I'm planning on painting it. Now it's on with only two screws, as I tested it, if this print would fit and work. It needs some filing as well. And here on the underside, you can see that it screws on into the rhino arm and holds on quite smugly. Good thing with this is that you will still get to keep the possibility to move the glasses using the rhino arm mounts back and forth so it fits your face nicely. And you can still use the canting lever here as well. It won't be in the way of the PNVs so it can stay on. It doesn't need to be filed off or cut off or anything. Uh, these, this is made by a certain YouTuber. I'm going to link to his channel. I got the files from him and probably you can do the same as well. Now as for the functionality test. I'm going to plug this in and turn the glasses on. Now we're plugged in. And now let's do the functionality test. You can hear the transformer turning on. And now we have the preventative caps on. We can look into the glasses and see that they're on.